US President Donald Trump's trade advisor Peter Navarro has again attacked India's purchase of Russian oil. None of these countries can survive if they don't sell to the United States. And when they sell to the United States their exports, they're like vampires sucking us their, our blood dry with their unfair trade practices. India has skipped US oil in its latest tender, and Indian state refiners opted instead for 2 million barrels of West African crude and 1 million barrels of Middle Eastern grade. U.S. Strategic Metals has signed an agreement with Pakistan's Frontier Works Organization to cooperate on critical mineral exploration and processing. At the BRICS 2025 summit, India's External Affairs Minister has called for fair trade and resilient supply chains amid Trump's tariff-driven tensions. The Indian Army's Paris Special Forces and the Indian Navy's Marcos jointly carried out a high-altitude scuba and combat diving drills at an altitude of 17,000 feet in Sikkim. The BSF has nabbed a Pakistani intruder who was trying to infiltrate into India from the Jammu border. The Indian Navy has commissioned the 6th 25-ton bollard pull tug built by Titagar Rail Systems. INS Shurat participated in a PA-6 exercise with an Andrea Doria-class destroyer of the Italian Navy. China's PD-2900 drone with a 2,500 km range and 12-hour endurance has entered mass production, that features a stealth design inspired by Russian Su-57. The Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics are in talks with private firms to develop indigenous ejection seats for fighter jets replacing the British-made Martin Baker seats used in the Tejas Mark 1A, Mark 2 and AMCA. Latest reports confirm that the Indian Air Force will receive its first two Tejas Mark 1A fighters next month, almost two years behind schedule. The Indian Air Force is in talks with a private sector firm to develop a 1,000 km range autonomous swarm drone system for saturation attacks that can be adapted for air-launched drones from transport aircraft like the C-130JC-295M and IL-76 for large-scale swarm deployment against enemy air defenses command centers and fortified sites. If negotiations for Russia's Su-57E succeed, its integration with India's already inducted S-400 systems would create an unbeatable shield and sword combination. The S-400 with its 400 km engagement range, already denies hostile aircraft drones and missiles access to Indian airspace, and the Su-57 with 400 km R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile will engage Pakistani fighters before they reach firing range. Latest reports indicate that the 1,800 next-generation main battle tanks under the FRCV program will feature AI-powered fire control systems, integration with UAVs and satellites for real-time battlefield awareness, anti-drone systems, and advanced hunter-killer modes. Companies such as Bharat Earth Movers Limited and Specialized Heavy Engineering Limited are actively competing for the contract. The Indian Navy plans to activate a second manufacturing facility, once the first two nuclear attack submarines reach 50% completion, that will enable the parallel construction of four submarines, as it aims to induct 12 nuclear attack submarines. For the first two submarines, the Navy is evaluating Cochin Shipyard Limited and Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders, with both shipyards expected to play pivotal roles as the program scales up. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, dropped it.